Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's all about racing. In this particular episode, we are going to take a look at a Mercedes AMG GT3. This one from, get a load of this, Mad Panda Motorsports. As competed in the 24 Hours of Spa in 2020. Uh, this is a limited edition Spark 143 model. Uh, it does come mounted on a cream colored wooden base like you see here. And because this was raced at Spa, you've got the Belgian flag up here on the front of the base. It does come with a jewel cover and a matching box to go with it. Again, that features the Belgian flag on there, both there and on the top, as you see there. And if you spin the box around, you'll see the Belgian flag on the back of it as well. Anyhow, so you've got a jewel case, uh, you've got a box, you've got a great wooden stand, and more importantly, you have got one phenomenal race car here. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful. And any car that's a mad panda car, you got to check out anyway, and you'll see why in just a minute. But if you take a good look at this, you know, this is a beautiful Mercedes AMG. It's a front engine car. Uh, this particular one, the base color on it is black uh, with white accents. And as you'd expect from Spark, uh, you've got, you know, tremendously good-looking wheels, nice-looking uh, Pirelli P0 tires on there. You can see the uh, uh, the, the brake rotor, rotors, calipers, the center lug nut, and you've even got the, the little red that you see outlining the uh, the spokes there. That is where the uh, the air uh, valve is for it, so they can find that. And you're going to have that marked on red on one side, and I believe it's blue on the other, so you can re recognize the le left side tire, left side tires from the right side tires or wheels, should I say? Uh, one thing with because the Mercedes is a front engine car, you do have the exhaust that comes out the side of it. And what's really neat is you've got all this copper tubing, which they have done a really nice job with. It's actually, that is that is the exhaust pipe, and that is just the air outlet right there. Uh, but it, it's straight-shaded, so you, you, you see some of it. It's not like uh, like some of the exhausts you see on the old Corvettes where the entire uh, exhaust is... Uh, is, is hanging where the uh, where the running board would be because you burn your leg every time you get in and out of the car. So they they uh, they do have that covered so that that doesn't happen in this case. But it's kind of a clever uh, and a neat looking thing, I think. Uh, and of course, this being a front engine car, you've, it kind of looks like an old C3 Corvette, big long front end, tiny rear end on it. And there, and now they pull this picture out, you can see the Mad Panda itself. You know, there it is, the teamsake, uh, the mascot, whatever you want to call it. A, a badass looking Mad Panda. I love it. Really, really cool. And I'm going to see if we can get a better look at the interior. The windows on the on this particular car, unfortunately, are uh, uh, they, they are they're tinted, so it's really hard to see inside, and you can't see crap. Sorry guys, but there's the 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 interior detail as you as you would expect with Spark is really really good. Here a little bit you can see the seat and the netting, but that's about all you're going to be able to see uh, at this angle with this camera. Uh, you know, if you have it yourself, you'll get a much better view of it than you're going to get uh, uh, from me. But as we turn this thing around, you take a look at the front. Now the Mercedes, they do have the um, the louvers over the uh, front fenders, and I, I was taking I, I felt it, which I normally don't touch my models. I was just wondering if this is if these are decals, but actually it is, uh, you can feel texture there. Uh, so it, it, it's not open, but you know, at least they went to the, went to the trouble to give it texture. And it's really neat. And of course they, they painted it white. So that it looks really cool, uh, against the black, but another nice detail that you would expect from spark and the things that you get and take a look here at the front end, move the camera around a little bit. Once again, you see, as I mentioned, the Belgian flag on the base of the car and you got a good looking, uh, view the front end. I'll tell you, I was on the track with my Corvette uh, a few months ago, and I had a Mercedes AMG behind me that was an all-in black. I mean, the grill was black. That thing came up behind me, and it was the most menacing damn thing I'd ever seen. Scared the living crap out of me. I practically peed in my pants. Um, uh, but anyhow, uh, neat-looking car. Uh, the the other Mad Panda car that I've got does have a black grill. I'll show that in, in the next review. This one does not. It is silver. Uh, you do see the tow hook on there. But I'll tell you, this car, this is an intimidating-looking car to come up behind. It really is um, very intimidating. Uh, look at these gorgeous uh, carbon dive planes that you see there. I mean, they are spectacular. Right there, big old massive uh, carbon dive planes on it. Got the Mercedes logo on the grill, and then you've also got the Mercedes logo here on the nose of the car uh, as well. And one thing that's cool about the Mercedes, and I, lo I love how the headlights are outlined in white. I thought they did a really good job with that. 
you come up here and you take a look at the uh, the front of the car, you can see the radiator and the fan there uh, as that is exposed. Very, very cool. And we'll scan up a little bit. You can see the gorgeous carbon fiber mirrors you have on there. The windshield has the AWS GT uh, banner on there, and you've got the number. You've got the LED numbers that show your position in the race. And I'll turn this around and give you a side view of it. And of course, as you'd expect with Spark, you know, they usually have the drivers on the other side of the car. In this case, you have uh, uh, Emmanuel Perez Compact, uh, Sanchez, Puka, and Assenheimer. And this is in the, um, the European Le Mans series, so I do not follow that much. I do not know these guys uh, like I do the IMSA or the SRO uh, uh, cars that we have in the States. But nevertheless, I mad pen to birch. You, you, you look at it, you got to get it because it's just it's just too cool. Remember, I mentioned we had the red um, uh, accents on the on the uh, on the driver's side wheels. On the passenger side, you've got green again. That points where the air valve is, uh, so it's easy to find when the car pulls up for pit stops. Otherwise, the passenger side looks much like the driver's side. Not much different. The air jack inlet is actually on this side. It's right here on this particular car. And here we take a better look at the top of it. Again, the driver's names all run along the uh, the windowsill there. You've got the Mad Pant on the roof of the car. He does look angry. I like the Mad Panda Motorsports on the rear wing. One thing that's kind of cool about the Mercedes, and we'll pull this around for a... Uh, their rear wing and just the uh, uh, yeah, just the, the design of the support uh, struts on there is just really really cool. I'm sure it's highly uh, adjustable, but it it looks way more complicated. I guess German engineering at its best uh, than you see on most other cars, even the Porsches. <clears throat> But we all know German engineering, you know, is probably the best in the world, and I have no doubt it's reflected in their cars. And you take a look at the back of this. And there you go, there's a good look at the back. Nice, big carbon fiber rear diffuser. And one thing that's also nice about the uh, Mercedes AMG is the diffuser is actually built into the frame. It doesn't stick out like the Corvettes does or the Porsche does. It's built in, so it's smooth. It looks like it was designed to be there, uh, and it is. And you can see all the carbon fiber, uh, you know, um, uh, accents on it. it. They did a real nice job. Your tow hook is right there. A little tiny arrow pointing to it. Mad Panda Motorsport. Beautiful rear um, tail lights. Not painted like they do on their Sparky 164 models. Shame on you. And if we take a look under the rear wing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this this way, and then I'll pull it up, take a look at it, so I don't damage the car. But it, uh, it it's got a message underneath the rear wing. Eat, sleep, and repeat. I guess that's what a panda does: eat, sleeps, and repeats. Just eat, sleep, and repeat. Thought it might be something more race-like, but nevertheless, it's pretty cool. So what do you guys think of this car? Isn't that gorgeous black with a white accent? I, I just love Mad Panda. I mean, what, what a cool name for a race team. And a cool logo. I mean, you've got other teams. You've got a T-Rex out there in green. You've got Mad Panda. I'm trying to think of some of the others that have animals they use as their... Uh... There's one other I am just drawing a blank on it right now. T-Rex kind of comes to mind because that was a new team that uh, presented itself at Sebring uh, in, in March of this year. Oh, the Flying Lizards. Got them, too. Yeah, can't forget about them. Anyhow, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.